I want to talk about the power of play. You know, when kids are having fun and engaged and involved in the activity, they just naturally pay attention, connect with others, enjoy themselves, and learn. That's why I use games to help children learn new things. For example, if I'm working with a little kid, preschooler, and I want her and, and her friends to learn about the colors, I'll do this game. I'll take a lot of milk cartons and I'll cover them with different colored paper. Then I'll make some balls, say balls out of newspaper, scrunched up newspaper covered with tape, and I'll have them throw the ball at all the color red, and I'll show them the color red to match. And they'll watch all the red boxes tumble down, and they'll remember, and they'll laugh, and they'll learn. Or if I'm working with an older child and I want him to learn the spelling words, I'll take a shower curtain and put all the letters of the alphabet on the curtain, and I'll lay it on the floor, and I'll have him hop to all the letters in his word. Or maybe I'll play a game with the whole class, and I'll have a child hop to all the letters in a word that they have to all know, like precipitation. And then as the boy is jumping to all the letters, the other kids have to guess which word he's spelling. You know, not only are games fun, but neuro research has shown that the way children learn affects how their brain develops. They took images of children's brains before and after an activity. And if the activity was rote memorizing or just watching TV or something that wasn't interactive, there was no change in the brain. The brain looked the same before and after in the images, and only one small part of the brain was lit up. But when the kids were playing a game or doing an activity that really they were really enjoying, there was actual physical changes in the brain. There were new synapses between the neurons. It shows that not only do not only is it smart to play games, games make you smarter.